Hey YouTube, it's Valerie Reified. Um, let's see, first off, the diet starts again today. Same diet I've been on for, you know, off and on for seven and a half years. So, you know, when I stick with it, it works. When I can make sure that other people aren't, you know, making it impossible for me to prepare my own food, it works. Um, so we'll see. Here's hoping. Um, second thing, the, the actual point of the video is a couple quick concepts for you. First of, uh, first of which is the, um, is the education premium. Now, if you have a high school degree, you'll typically earn about, uh, about 25,000 or so a year, you know, inflation happens, your mileage may vary. If you have a post-secondary degree, you typically earn about 45,000. I mean, this is spread across all fields, or specialists, and what have you. Um, second point, diminishing marginal utility. The idea that every individual unit of more is better, but every individual unit of more is less better. The, the basic idea being, you know, um, once you've got a smart car, it's much more of a radical change to your life, for example, than having a turbocharged Maserati is over having a smart car. Um, because there's only so much that you can do with that additional horsepower. Especially, um, and to relate it back to education, in an economy where we're all supposed to be, to a large extent, generalists, where people change jobs frequently, there aren't a lot of, of specialists. And, I mean, the rules somewhat don't apply to specialists because they face their own exigencies of demand, but, you know, for the average person with, a, with an arts degree who can go from being uh, a human resources uh, manager to working in a bank to working at a government agency, it doesn't quite make sense to me um, that 12, year, uh, 12 to 13 years of education gets you 25000 a year, and that additional four somehow nearly doubles your value. Uh, we have some perverse incentives, at least on the face of it to me. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm not against the liberal arts education. It is its own benefit. It is its own reward. Education in general. Um, you know, does teach people to think. But I don't think that those extra four years make someone 80% more productive. Um, it does cause managers to utilize more of their productivity uh, to give them more of an opportunity to move forward in an organization uh, and give them more career paths. But it doesn't make, it doesn't make someone more, uh, that much more capable of doing work. You can teach almost anyone anything. You just need people who have learned how to learn. And the correlation between that and having completed your graduate thesis as or your undergraduate thesis, as opposed to, say, having been an autodidact or having, you know, shown any other uh, means of aptitude, I don't know so much. Um, so, yeah. Please uh, do respond. I want to know why this isn't a perverse incentive, um, if anyone thinks so. I want to know why those four years should matter so much to someone's uh, opportunities and economic, uh, economic prospects for the rest of their life. Um, why, you know, 13 years of education should earn you a subsistence wage. Not even, you know, not even an ability to save. Um, and... 16 years of education, 17 years of education should earn you a surplus wage. Why is that level of differentiation required, um, or for that matter, even acceptable in a liberal democracy? All right, I put it to you.